if you know I was thinking about the type of sex life that I want my daughters to have my future daughters because I don't have no kids right now um and I was thinking about um the experiences that I would want them to have and and, and you know I feel like I've endured enough pain shame around my own sex life that my daughters and their daughters don't even need to have those experiences because I feel like I endured enough for generations to come and so I want my future daughters to be empowered sexually um, I want them to be empowered um, spiritually I want them to be empowered in their body I want them to um, be um, vocal about their needs, about their desires, about their standards. Um, I want them to have an amazing sex life. And I will be the mom that, you know, I mean, when the time comes, I definitely don't think that it's something that you need to rush into um, because it's, it, it's a lot to handle even when you are quote unquote mature. But I definitely want my daughters to have amazing sex i mean oh my goodness the conversation that i have with my daughters will be so completely different than the conversations that i have with my mom about sex um i think even more so than, than even the conversations my mom has with herself about sex i'm not going to go into that but i think that you know um we place limitations on ourselves and society places limitations on ourselves and then we agree to those limitations and then we place even more limitations on ourselves. So with my daughters, I want them to, um, yeah, I will be very transparent about sex. Duh. I mean, they're going to probably, you know, I don't know. This video will probably still be around. Um, they're going to get to see how crazy I was, but they're going to get to see me struggle and they're going to get to see me grow and they're going to get to see me stand for something and they're going to get to see me be vocal about my, my needs and my desires and my standards. And so I have no problem if you say, well, what happens if your kids log on and they see you? I hope they do, you know, at a certain age, I definitely hope that they do, um, hear this message see this message I mean hopefully I'll be there to give it to them um, because the conversation that I will have with them about sex will be so will be so different and, and I love my mom and, and and you know sometimes we can't even help the ideologies that we have been drowned in and so um, a lot of us have just been you know force-fed so much information about sex and sexuality and, you know, I can't even completely blame my mom because I understand that it's not just mom, it's society, it's the church. It's a lot of things contributing to the ideology that she and a lot of women in her generation um, agree to. Um, and so I can't completely fault her because, you know, I have to critique the environment and I have to critique so many other things besides just mom and so and I have to be empathetic towards the position and the time and the era that she grew up in but my daughters the conversation that I have with them will be tremendously different and because of that I, I expect and hope and pray and anticipate them having a way 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 more amazing sex life than mine way more way more you know and i in mine i mean bitch now that now that i'm empowered now that i know let me get it white now that i'm empowered and now that i know who i who, who i am you know um my sex life is getting better and better <laughs> but my daughters, I want them to, you know, I mean, it takes a minute to find out what works for you and explore your body, but I will want them to be um, very, mm, very empowered and to have amazing sex. Like, if they find this in, you know, in the future, I want them to have um, amazing sex lives. Um, I just, I think that in life, you know, um, Your financial stability is extremely important, but I think beyond that, like once you obtain financial, once you've obtained financial stability and you're pleased with the lifestyle you have, 
I think there's other things that, that are important as well. And I think that a healthy sex life is one of those things. Um, and um, I, want, I would want for my daughters to have a way better sex life than I've had. And I mean, yeah, I'm gonna be like the best, I'm gonna be like, bitch, how was it? If, if it wasn't good, bitch, cut that nigga off. Block his number right now. That's the mom I'm gonna be. What? Uh-uh. When they get grown, we're gonna have grown people talk. The fuck? I ain't got time for this fake shit. I hate this fucking fake sugar-coated shit. I hate the fucking fake sugar-coated shit. I, I cannot stand it. I can't stand it. So, when my kids get grown, bitch, what? Mm, how much money you get? That's my bank. I'm not the one! <laughs> my bitch is gonna have the game, honey. The whole game. The whole game. And then some. What? My daughters? I can't wait. Y'all not gonna be able to do nothing. Nothing with them besides treat them well and give them some money. <laughs> okay. Mm, 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 mm. But yes, my daughters will have the hookup, okay? I will, they, everything will be... And I'm going to allow them to be themselves. But, you know, if they decide to be feminine and I, and I identify as women, they are going to be sharp, honey. Okay. <laughs> that bag going to be heavy, bitch. <laughs> okay. They going to have the whole game. But they also are going to be so empowered and going to just breeze by all the bullshit. You know, hopefully. I mean... Hell, I feel like I'm really, I'm that person that listens. I listen too well. I was so concerned about what people thought and what they was telling me I should do and their advice on this and 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 this. So I listen too well. You know how they say some people don't listen to the elders? Well, sometimes you got to listen to yourself. Love your elders. Some You got to take a little bit of information from everybody and then come to your own conclusions. But I was the type to listen to my elders, so I was just... Listening to what this person and 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 this person said. But at some point, you just got to listen to yourself and be in tune with um, with who you are and with where you want to go. And um, yeah. So if my daughters listen to me and they're not the type, because some people, they just got to keep failing and keep struggling before they get it. I'm not that type of person, y'all. Once I fail a few times, I'm like, fuck this losing shit. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> what? We done lost how many times? We can't lose no more, bitch. I don't care what they said. They said be nice. That nice shit ain't working. <laughs> what? They said be submissive. That submissive shit. They said, look for love. That looking for love shit outside of yourself, it ain't working. So once I take a few losses, it don't take me long, bitch. I'll, I'll bounce back. And I, I'll, I'll switch some shit up. This is what we did last time. We're going to do the opposite. Until you get, until you figure out what works, I'm going to keep switching it up. If it, if it don't work, I'm damn sure not going to keep doing it. But I don't know. Some people like that. So hopefully, please. Universe, ancestors, everybody, DNA. Please let my baby girls be the type that can listen to their elders because if they listen to the shit that I tell them, ooh, mm, I'm gonna be proud. I'm gonna be a, ooh, I'm gonna be so proud. Because mm, mm, mm. they just gonna, they gonna have, uh, they gonna have their own money. They gonna have they bags they gonna have niggas that's all up on them they gonna have niggas they can ask for anything from they gonna have good sex they gonna have everything bitch my my daughters they gonna be set honey set <laughs> okay and they ain't gonna go through half the shit i have they ain't gonna go through half the shit i went through mm -mm. no 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 mm -mm. No, no, no. Mm -mm. Absolutely not. 
but they're going to be good to go. Mm -mm -mm. I can't wait. I I mean, I don't know. I'm so, I'm so, I want a daughter so bad. I, I know people be like, I'm so glad I didn't have a daughter. I feel like if you don't, if you're a woman and you don't want to have a daughter, you got to think about how you feel about yourself. Because I like me, so I want to see a mini me. Like, I can't wait to see a miniature version of myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of, I don't know, a lot of women I know, I don't want no daughter. I just want sons. Okay. I want a daughter. So, I don't know what to do with a boy because I, I, I'm so niggas ain't shit. I don't know what to do. I got to figure it out. I got to figure it out. I'm, and, I, and I have met some decent men. Don't get it wrong. Don't get it twisted. I have met some good men. I have met some decent men. Um... Especially now that I feel the way I do about myself. It's just the, the men get better. The sex gets better. It just is amazing. Let me tell you about New Boy. Mm. New Boy gave me three. In una noche. El segundo día, uno más. Mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. He got me speaking Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, bitch. Okay. And not only on top of that, he mm, without even being ass girl, and it's so good. Oh my god, I felt what? What did Megan say? I need a nigga to eat like a cute. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is the way. Let me tell y'all. The way to a woman's heart is money, food, and good sex. But a lot of y'all can't get some, some of y'all like it. In one of the one of the departments, I said a way to the to a woman's heart is money, food, and good sex. But a lot of y'all is slacking. Slacking. Don't even want to feed a bitch. Don't want to pay no motherfucking bills and ain't got no good dick. What the fuck? 